squash into nostalgic rock shit on rock bitch. Send me all the men in my class like Team Rocket. Wait until I'm mixing that slayer with that Tupac shit. One golden bullet to kill all that faggot pop shit delivery. I'm the bullet that killed Kennedy. Enemy, D-I-T-C, Darkest Stephanie, Necro. Fuck around and let the tech blow. Red beam to his dog and make it look like techno. I told you, I don't even want to be the best. Oh, I'm the threat with the rest, making motherfuckers John Doe. Ricky Rowe. What's up, guys? Tune in. Give us just a second. We're getting everything rounded up here, and uh, we will get this big three kit installation started. We have pre-prepared our wire links and hydraulic crimped everything, um, and we're just going to do a quick demonstration of the big three kit installation here. Um, the vehicle is a Grand Marquis, and it's a '99, right? This is Mike's Grand Marquis. And we're getting ready to put a system in it here shortly, and we figured we would go ahead and uh, get the big three knocked out, and then followed by getting the wire ends uh, ran to the back and all that, secondary battery, yada, yada. Uh, so anyways, we dropped in a North Star AGM 65 under the hood with the GPSAE machine terminals right here. Um, and then, yeah, so, we're gonna go ahead and, and get this big three installation started. One thing I always like to do is be sure that all the lettering is lined up on all your runs. Okay, um, hey, can you, can you give me a hand real quick and just hold this into the wire in the air? Okay, so first run we're gonna do is your power run from your alternator power stud back to the power uh, on your battery. And then this, you know, we've done about an hour of prep, prep work prior to uh, making this video. That way we can do a quick, quick and uh, easy view of the big three kit installation. We'll show you everything that we've had to do here. This little grommet will just cut off. And then of course, the wires will be loosely ran in the beginning, then we'll go through and zip tie everything and clean it up. The way we did this one was that it's going to flow with some of these wires right here. Okay, so there's our positive power gone to the battery, positive there. If you're not familiar with what the big three is, it is uh, what allows your car to essentially open the floodgates on your electrical current flow. So this is what's going to allow you to get all that alternator power um, along with the additional grounds, which will help you uh, have better current flow throughout the vehicle. Okay. So now we have our positive wire ran. The next one up is the ground wire, which is gonna go from your engine block to your uh, negative terminal on your battery. Okay. This is gonna go this way to line up. Now we need to, oh, you already got that bolt out? Sweet. Okay, you want to get, where's that bolt at? <laughs> Where did that bolt go? We're missing a bolt. But yeah, basically, your engine block ground can go from your alternator mounting stud, and then it's going to come back over here to the negative on your battery terminal. We're locating the located the alternator bolt wherever in the world that went <laughs> my fault this is it yeah uh, okay yep Jeez. so now engine block ground simplest place is right on the alternator mounting uh, stud here so we're going to Attach this in place.
And again, uh, these will be loosely, loosely ran in the beginning. <laughs> these will be loosely ran in the beginning, and then um, we will clean them up and show you how how the how they will look. It will be very quick and painless. We're already on the second wire, so so yeah, engine block to the battery negative. And then this is the GPCarAudio.com Big 3 Upgrade Kit. You can order it at the link in the description. Um, and we are attaching these to the GP machined SAE terminals. Uh, they have six spots on them to open up your wiring capabilities. Shoot up like that. I'll tighten that up. Okay. Make sure it's the right angle. You know, pre pre cut our lengths, measured everything, our already hydraulic crimped everything. So it's going to show you a much faster process of doing the big three. Overall, the whole total prep time on this, we have about an hour in it, and then it's just going to take us, you know, maybe uh, ten more minutes to finish the complete install here. That's good. Okay, so there is our engine ground back to the battery. Next up is the chassis ground. And we're gonna have to move the camera to show you where this is going. But first off, we will feed this down here. So on the chassis, what you need to do is find a good spot on your frame. Um, and what we do is, is tap, tap it so that we can actually bolt our chassis ground to, directly to the frame. Simple, no problems, makes it extremely easy. So this is our third wire on the big three. So there's all those. And then I'll give you guys a view down here. You can see where we uh, grinded down the metal and then threaded a bolt. So what we're gonna do from here is attach that third ground, or second ground, I apologize, the third wire to the frame. After we have this attached, um, we will come back and spray over a coating on this so that no rust can happen and it will seal off um, anything from oxidizing. Sorry, oh, that's cool. All right, so there's our chassis ground. That's all done. And there you have the big three installed. So we got your power run to your alternator power, your engine block ground, going to your alternator mounting stud, which is always the simplest place to do so. And then the chassis ground, which we just ran down to a tap on frame down here. So that is how you do that. Big three, if you haven't done it, um, it is vital to your system's performance, even if you're only running a thousand watts. Now, uh, what we'll go do is I'll run through and zip tie some of these wires and clean them up. Yes. Oh, done. And basically, my goal always when doing the big three is to just be sure the wires are floating and not touching anything. So you can literally use the zip tie method to float the wires through the engine bay to where they're not resting on anything at all. That's the main goal. So 
from here, we can go off one of these hoses on the motor and then you're just gonna loosely, loosely put a zip tie around that. And then you're going to come around in between the hose and the wire on this. And you're gonna tighten that. And what that's going to do is cause a permanent separation in between in between uh, these two objects. Yeah, probably. <laughs> we're out in the country. Yeah, America, baby. Yeah, those those were gunshots. Yeah, America, baby. They're, they're not shooting at us yet. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to come back to this wire here. Be sure it's separate and lift it off of this hose. So the power wire is golden. We've got it floating above everything. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's not touching anything. So there's no way it is going to be able to arc out on anything. Um, now for this ground, on this ground, here's how you'll do this. And if, uh, let me get you guys a little bit better of a view here, how I'm doing this. See if we can zoom in a little bit. Okay, so where your positive and power runs come close to touching each other, here is what you do. You go around, then in between. America. Yes. America. If any of us go down, call 911. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those are permanently separated. Now we're going to go right here where they're wanting to get close to touching. Bullet, didn't it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> so well, that was a firework, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, those are fireworks? Yeah. I thought it was shooting a 23. Okay, so now we're gonna separate these two wires here. Boom. Separated and not touching. Then where these two intercept right here and pass by each other. Again, you go around both of them and then in between them and it gives you a permanent separation where nothing's resting on each other and everything is as safe as you can possibly get. So now I need those, uh, those. That's what I need. We'll go through and clean this up real quick. It sounded like you were shooting a 22. Yeah, yeah, I thought you were shooting that. What we're doing in this car is, uh, four B2 six and a halfs. So you guys will see that bump in here pretty quick. But, uh, so yeah, there you guys have it. Oh, is there one more? Big three installed and cleaned up. Um, the way that this is ran, uh, I see the f question about a fuse. The way that this is ran, it is floating over everything. It's not touching anything. Um, so it is ran very safely. That power wire is not resting on anything at all in the engine bay. Um, the way that we have it floating there with the zip ties. This is a rear battery installation. What's that? Oh yeah, if it was a rear battery installation, you would have to take other precautions. And this length is so short that you really don't have to worry on this. Um, ideally, if you do want to fuse the big three, most commonly, you're going to need to fuse both ends of the wire. There's just not quite enough room in here to, to really accomplish that.
but we consider it unneeded on this particular application. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, drop them down into the comments section, and we will talk to you guys later on. And uh, visit gpcaraudio.com for your elite electrical needs, and follow the link in the description to uh, get your custom Big 3 kit handmade to order today. Thank you. Martians and nostalgic rock shit on rock, bitch. Send me all the men in my class like Team Rocket. Wait, until I'm mixing that Slayer with that Tupac shit. One golden bullet to kill on that faggot pop shit delivery. I'm the bullet that killed Kennedy. Enemy, D-I-T-C, Dark and Stephanie, Necro. Fuck around and let the tech blow. Red beam to a stock and make it look like techno. I told you, I don't even want to be the best Oh, I'm the threat with Tourette's making motherfuckers John Doe. Ricky Rose, Quirious Killer, the Kaiser Soze. Making a family cry together like the old J's. Back in the old days, I'm the one that's Chosen. Thug from the 90s, I'm cryogenically frozen Avenger, but yeah, I be the Joker and the Riddler With the mindset, the switch like Harvey Dent is dead The Dark Knight, fucking Clark Kent Martin Lawrence, when he traveled back in time with suspense suspended Animation when my brain reacts Don't belong in this world like I'm Samurai Jack Click, clack, on the Glock 17, get mean Then put the ghost face so we can empty the cream Cash rules, 